Um, we're going to do 4-7, Introduction to a Coordinate Proof, and it's just going to be that. It's going to be a quick introduction because really we don't focus on this a lot. You get like one question on the your course exam. But I would like to just go over it just to say, hey, what's up? This is Introduction to a Coordinate Proof. All right, you know a coordinate plane is, you know, where you got the, the y x-axis and you got all the boxes and you graph it and make a line, okay? Now, all you're doing in this section is that you have an x and a y and they'll give you something like a problem and you got to prove it using this, okay? Like prove that it's correct by using math, okay? It's good for incorporating like, you know, midpoint and distance and all that and you can use your logic, which is great and super. All right, so we're just going to do one problem together, and then I'm just going to call it quiz, because really I don't like it that much. But I don't tell anybody I tell that. I don't like it, I don't know why. Deb, you said that too. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Okay, the given is, we've got a right triangle, PQR. All right? Right triangle. I am a big proponent of writing stuff down. Uh, did I say PQR? Sure I did. Because I feel like it helps. Okay, so we've got a right triangle. Now, hence, for when you do this, position it around the origin, okay? That's your go-to. Don't just be like, uh, bloop, think of that. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And you put it on there like Sean King said, okay? Now, you're just going to plot it at the origin. It's easier to count boxes than to calculate distance. So just put it there and you can just count. One, two, three, four, five, five. All right? But you do have to count like that, too. You're not allowed to talk in any other voice, I promise. All right? <clears throat> so... We got that right triangle. Has coordinates. P is at 0, 6. Well, they actually give you coordinates. When they don't, make it at the origin. So we go 0, 6. That's P. Uh, Q is at 8, 0. It's not going to be completely accurate because, well, I don't have any lines, so shutty. All right, and then R is 0, 0. Okay, so they put it around the origin, which is what you would do if you had to freelance this fool. All right. All right. A is the midpoint of PR. Okay. First, I'm going to draw this. This is a right triangle. Hooray. Okay. A is the midpoint of PR. So A is right there. Okay. Let's, we can already find the midpoint. Which, if that's they both go over zero, that one goes up six. What's the middle of six? Three. So that's zero three. All right. Um, B is the midpoint of QR. So right there is B. All right, and let's see, they go over eight. What's the middle of counting to eight? Four, dirt. All right, all right, we're trying to prove that AB is congruent to half of PQ. Prove AB equals half of whatever I just said, of PQ, okay? We wanna prove the length from here to here is half the length from here to here. All right? Now, I'm not even going to look at what the book does and the answers. I'll tell you how I'm going to do it. And you know the way I'm going to do it is correctly. Okay? Maybe. Unless I do it wrong. Then don't tell me about it because I don't want to hear it. Okay? <clears throat> Easiest way for me to do it, like personally, what I would do, I would say, okay, I've got two right triangles here. I'm a Pythagorean theorem kind of guy. I like Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so I'm going to do the Pythagorean theorem and find the length of this and this, and then I can compare it and see if I got it right. Okay, see if this is actually right here, is, this right here is half of that whole thing. So let's do Pythagorean theorem. This is 6, this is 8, that's x. I could plug it in and be 6 squared plus 8 squared equals x squared. That's 36, that's 64, add it together, it's 100. Last step, you get rid of the squared, I square root, x equals 10. Okay, that was easy uh, because I'm a math teacher and I skipped a lot of steps in my head. All right, now we find it using the right triangle stuff for this. We do Pythagorean, th Pythagorean theorem. That's up three, that's over four, that's x. All right, obviously I could do all this again, but to be honest, it's a three, four, five right triangle. If you got a right triangle, the legs are three and four, the hypotenuse is always five. Now, does that prove this right? Is 10 equal, I'm sorry, does five equal one half times 10? Yes, because a half times 10 is going to be half of 10, which is 5. And we're going to say the other one's 5. Yes, the answer is 5 equals 5. Is that true? Yes. So I have just crash course this fold. And I feel like I'm shorting you from not teaching you more. I'm trying to think if I care enough to go through and teach it. Do I? No. 
You know what? Your, your words have inspired me. I'm going to teach you one more thing. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Here's an easy one. We'll do one more. Just to help you, like, because this one they gave you the coordinates. I want to do one, but they don't, and you've got to kind of position it in the coordinate plane. Okay? This is the best board ever because it erases nothing. It's like writing on a piece of note with paper. Paper. Alright. <coughs> Alright. Okay, let's say you have, let's do the more difficult one. Alright, let's say you have a rectangle. Okay, we're here in the corner plane. This is X. Always label X and Y. Don't be a goose. A silly goose, that is. Alright, so we got our X and our Y. Alright, I'm going to try to move this in because I feel like y'all can't see it. Okay. Now, we got our X and our Y axis. Let's say we got a rectangle and it's got side lengths A, length A, and width B. How's that? So the length is A, the width is B. I don't even know if y'all can see that because I don't know how. Alright. Position it at the origin. That way everything is zero this, zero that. You know what I mean? You can just count. It's straight up. It's good stuff. Length is A. So how far am I going to go this way? A. Okay, you just pick somewhere and say, I went over A, so that's my X, and I went up and down, zero. Okay? So, up here, let's see, let's make this rectangle. That's my rectangle. Now, the width Holy crap, yeah. With length and width. It don't matter, whatever. All right, we go up zero. I'm sorry, we go over zero, so that's my first one. And then we go over B. That's how we go. I'm saying all these words wrong. Forget that. We go over zero, up B. All right? Now, I know that's not exactly B because we don't know what B is. We're just trying to mark this fool so we can put it on here. Okay? Now, we got to put this point over here. How far did I go over to get to this point? A. How far did I go up? B. And this is still 0, 0. Alright, and that's what you would use to plot this. I feel like I really, really messed up and I probably should have stopped it at the first thing because I was like, ah, oh, I don't know. Alright, but I'm done.